A glacier is not only interesting in itself, but also in its power. A glacier begins to move when it cannot handle its own weight. This is called internal deformation. Due to the intense pressure of the glacier and the heat of the earth, the bottom part of the glacier can melt. This meltwater acts as a lubricant which enables the glacier to slide. This action is called basal sliding. Before a glacier travels through a valley, the valley has a V-shape, possibly with a river at the bottom. The spurs, which are ridges out of the side of the main mountain ridge, are interlocking, causing the valley to wind. After a glacier goes through a V-shaped valley, it truncates or cuts off the spurs, causing the valley to take on a U-shape. Glaciers can also combine. When a deeper glacier combines with a shallower one, the land below the shallower one becomes a hanging valley, a valley atop a cliff. But how do glaciers alter the terrain? How do they erode the ground? Abrasion is the rubbing of a glacier and the ground. This explains why striations, or large gouges on rock, occur. We can use this information to determine which way the glacier moved. Sapping is when water enters cracks and expands by 9%, causing rock to become dislodged. As the ice moves, it attaches itself to parts of the rock, dislodging it and ripping it away in a process called plucking. All of these pieces of rock and debris, called glacial till, are taken away. But where do they go? When a glacier moves, the glacial till tends to accumulate on the sides and at the front. When the glacier moves, a line of till is formed. These types of lines are moraine. Other features that can form are roche moutonnée, which are a gradual incline of rock in the direction of movement through sapping and abrasion while the end has been plucked away. A drumlin is essentially a cluster of gravel or rock with a gradual decline in the direction of the glacier. A crag and tail is a strong area of rock that the glacier could not erode, with a gradual decline of typical softer material from the area. And until next time, thanks for watching.